Hey guys, today I'm making a couple batches of cookie dough so that I can bake some cookies tomorrow for Christmas Eve to pass out to everybody. So I'm going to do my, this first recipe is for uh, oatmeal scotchies. If you've ever had those, they're super yummy. So I'm going to do my dry ingredients first. Need one cup of flour, and it doesn't say to sift them, but I always like to sift my dry ingredients when I'm baking. And then we need one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. And then we got a half a teaspoon each of salt and cinnamon. I like to do the salt away from the bowl because one time I accidentally poured a whole bunch of salt in that I didn't want. Half a teaspoon of cinnamons. And then I'm going to sift all these together. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to soften up my butter just briefly in the microwave here. Chicken on, and blah, blah, blah. So is that. Butter, sugar, no sugar, eggs, and vanilla. Okay. This the reason these cookies are so yummy is because they got a whole lot of butter in them. So two sticks of butter in these bad boys. I'm having to run the generator because it is cloudy and rainy today, so we don't have much. Don't have much solar power going on. So two sticks of butter and then three quarter cups of sugar. And then three quarter cup of brown sugar, which I already got out. And then two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. I've always really enjoyed baking. Um, when we had our house, I used to make 12 different kinds of cookies for Christmas and pass them out to everybody. It'd be a whole production that took about three, four days. A little bit harder to do in the RV. I think I'm going to do two kinds of cookies. Alright, so then we're going to mix this up. Let's see if I can do this without knocking everything over. I need to get my scraper out. This thingy. Pretty good. Just 
get that off. Zed. What's up, man? You filming? I'm trying to film myself baking cookies. We'll see how it turns out. Are you going to edit certain things? Maybe. Am I going to be honest? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any ones in your... I'm going to get cleaned up. You're going to what? Get cleaned up. Okay. I don't think I have any ones left. Is that what you're asking? I spin them all. All right, so now we've got that, and we're gonna add just our flour mixture, and then our oats. So we're probably gonna do half the flour mix and blend it up, and then add the other half. Probably should have left these on. the easiest way to mix dough like this is to just hang on is to just glove up and mix it with my hand now my hands are clean so I could just use my hand but it's really hard to clean your hand after you've used it to mix I'm feeling it all squishy in there. I feel like it just gets it mixed up better when I use my hand. Not to make too much of a mess here. So once this is all mixed up, you just plop them on a cookie sheet and I think you do 375 375 for seven to eight minutes or it says you can spread it into a pan and make bars. I wonder if I should do that. I might do that easier. Spread them into a pan and just chop them up into bars. That's a great idea. I've never tried that before. I think I might try that. I have a very small cookie sheet in the RV here. Can only bake a few at a time. Back when I had the house, I'd have two cookie sheets going at once, you know, two large ones. You could crank out a lot of cookies that way. Just gonna make the doughs 
today and then do the baking tomorrow. I find that's a lot easier and more enjoyable. And tomorrow I just uh, have my doughs ready and I just bake them and have some Christmas music on in the background. It's fun. So I'm going to get set up for the next dough. Alright, so I got all my stuff cleaned up and rinsed off and I'm ready to start on the next one, which is sugar cookies. And it's my grandma's recipe. I still have her recipe card um, when her handwriting, so I really kind of cherish that. So for this one, we will need two cups of flour. Looks like this flour is almost gone, but I have another one. I like to cut the bag and make it shorter. It's easier to get into. I don't think I quite have two cups left in this one. There's one. And this usually makes a mess. I'm going to try and get the rest out. It's just too risky. <laughs> I have a new flower right here. This one's going to make a mess. Put it in there. I like to scoop it in, shake it off in the bag. Okay, there's our two cups of flour. Then we're going to need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is kind of old and hard, but we won't tell. It all mixes in the same, right? Break it up a little bit. There's one and a half. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to eyeball this. About half of my half a teaspoon. That's a little too much. There we go. Sift these. I don't have an actual sifter anymore, but I feel like this works just as good. I had to get rid of a lot of my baking stuff when we moved into the RV, just because there's not room. I was, in fact, spent most of the morning today looking for my cookie cutters, because I swear I kept them. I kept all my little sprinkles and frosting things, but I can't find the cookie cutters. So I think all of these, I'm gonna use a mason jar ring, and they're all just gonna be circles, so that'll actually be easier. Oh, and the last dough, this is the oatmeal scotchy dough. I just um, wrapped it in wax paper and put it in a Ziploc bag, and I'll keep it in the fridge until I bake tomorrow. All right, now this one calls for two-thirds of a cup of shortening. I like to use these Crisco bars because you can just cut off the amount you need and it's already got it marked for you, so two-thirds is right here. And we can save this little chunk for another project. Put that in. We better check the directions. Okay, sugar. We're going to add the sugar, vanilla, cream that, and then add the egg, says Grandma's Recipe. Grandma's Recipe also calls for some grated orange peel, which I don't have, and to be honest, I've never used in this recipe. But it does add nice, uh, it does add a nice flavor. So then three quarter cup sugar, and a half, and a quarter. And then we're going to do half a teaspoon of vanilla. Get my scrapers.
starting to get. And once it gets to this point, I like to get my glove out and use my hand. I should have got more gloves out last time. mixed up and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it in a ball, form it into a ball, put it in some wax paper and then a Ziploc bag and chill it down till tomorrow. So I decided to go ahead and also do a batch of chocolate chips because I was thinking about how many people are here camped with us and I want to make sure there's enough for everybody. So this is just a basic chocolate chip. I'm going to do three cups of flour. of baking soda and salt. <clears throat> it's very full. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to sift this without making too huge of a mess. It's already going horribly wrong. <laughs> there we go. Just a little bit full. Okay, so minor mess, that's all right. Put that one aside. I softened up the butter. Again, this one calls for two sticks of butter. Which, that's why these things taste so good. It's also why when I make cookies, I try to give most of them away because clearly I don't need to eat any more cookies. our butter and then we're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla and two eggs. this up. Try and keep the cord out of the way, but...
And I am cheating a little bit because I don't quite have a full bag of chocolate chips, but hopefully that will matter. They're big chocolate chips, so they're also dark chocolate, which I like to use dark chocolate. Because then it's healthy for you, right? <laughs> I actually normally make them with milk chocolate, but all I have is those dark chocolate chips, so. So I'm gonna get this all mixed up and same thing, put it into a ball, wrap it in the wax paper and put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge till tomorrow. So then tomorrow all I have to do is bake, which is the fun part that's easier throw it in the oven, set the timer, wait for everything to smell amazing. And I'll probably make some frosting for the sugar cookies. I feel like it's a lot of work for one day when you add in all the cleanup and everything too. I want it to be enjoyable, so that's why I like to divide it up this way. All right, we'll see you tomorrow for baking. Good morning, Bandit. It's Christmas Eve. Just like, leave me alone, I'm sleeping. What are you up to, Lin Luna? What are you doing? Staring out the window? All right, so I'm up early. I'm ready to start baking. I got my Christmas movie going. It's a Christmas story, classic. I've got my cookie doughs warming up to room temperature to make them easier to work with and here's my tiny little cookie sheet so I'm curious to see how long it will take to bake up all these doughs I'll show you the finished product when I'm done well I got so excited <clears throat> to finish up my cookies and pass them out that I forgot to film my finished product I had them all laid out on nice platters but while well, there's still some left so there's the chocolate chip and the oatmeal scotchies and there's my sugar cookies with frosting and sprinkles and I already went and just passed them out to everybody I'm exhausted out of breath uh, now I'm gonna go take a break hope you enjoyed this video <laughs>